welcome to the Q Sports International Expo. This is the Diamond Las Vegas Open, $25,000 added. We started with 128 players. We are down to the last uh, eight. Four of them. Four, yeah, with us together in the next match. This is the second of five U.S. Pro Billiard Series events, sponsored and presented by Q Sports International and Predator. The game is 10 ball, race to four, winner breaks, best of two sets. If players split sets, we go to an exciting spot shot best shootout. Up, this is George Beja and Jeremy Jones. I'm gonna step out of the booth and bring a guest speaker in. Yeah, Daniel Snyder's gonna be joining us, a player that made a deep run here into the final 32. He actually lost the scene in the first match this morning. Now you'll see at the bottom left of your screen, Shane starts with a 1-0 lead here in this match. And that's because of uh, you know, a tardiness uh, to the match from Omar. So there's a certain time frame if you're not there, and you lose the game. And that goes on to maybe two games and a forfeit after so much time. Now in the booth with us, Daniel. How you doing, Daniel? Good. How are you? Thank you. Yeah. Great tournament, by the way. Uh, on in, in many uh, different disciplines and, and tables here this week so far. I heard you did really well in one of the uh, quote-unquote amateur events, and then making the final 32 before. I didn't see the match, but it must have been fun to play Shane this morning. Yeah. Definitely. Besides the loss. <laughs> always a good experience. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Well, it looks like to me Omar's kind of shaken off that one game penalty. Uh, maybe that ball in hand after the break had a lot to do with that. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, came, came late in the game, and now if he can make that first game and maybe have a good break off of that, that would definitely bring him back into the match. Yeah, and this is tight right here. He doesn't have a full pocket. You can see that. Just had to settle with the cue ball, not really trying to move it too much because that was so tight going by the seven. Yeah, I'd rather take the long six then. Missed the five. Now Omar, I've watched him a lot, um, even though I've been in the booth. I'm fortunate he's been on one of these corner tables near the booth, uh, the outer part of the arena. And I've got to watch him. He's just been grinding away, ball for ball. Just, you know, I wouldn't say playing like his best, best pool, but playing really, really solid. Yeah, I think uh, I've seen him here. I've seen him at the Texas Open and at the World Nine Ball Championships. He's definitely a fighter. Even if it doesn't go easy, easy, he always finds his way back into the game. Yeah. Something, you know, all the guys fight, but there's certain guys that when they get to the loser side, it doesn't really affect them, even if it's early in the tournament. And Omar's definitely one of those guys that just keeps on keeping on. You know, you just can't let it get to yourself and just shake it off and keep fighting. It. Yeah, we know, we all know some players that are great players, but if they take an early loss, they can be very vulnerable in that next one or two matches on the one loss side, getting beat early in the tournament. And yeah, sometimes uh, it happens to all of us. Sometimes oh, absolutely. It takes, takes, yeah, one or two wins to catch your breath again and, and get your momentum going again, yeah. Yeah, feeling like you can really make a deep run. Because, you know, these tournaments, you know, separate from some regional events and smaller events, you get on the one loss side here, that doesn't mean you're going to get two or three easy matches to get going. You could certainly you know, catch another world champion on the one loss side early. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of players that went out two matches and out and usually get deep in, in big events. All right. I'll take a head on break and probably watch Shane maybe a little bit. Shane really uh, he got in gear in his last match. Now, of course, I've been commentating all week on this table, and I'm sure you've watched some of this table. But the four railer. Um, off the, the break looks like almost the most consistent ball that's going. Yeah, I feel overall racking with the rack and the four railer or the one railer going in the back pocket so yeah. are more consistent on the side pocket ball. Yeah, and what he means is the four railer is the ball in the corner, but the ball just inside the corner 
on the back row of a 10 ball rack kind of breaks one rail and banks one rail up in the corner. A lot of people don't know that actually. I thought he would kick across one rail here. This is dangerous to me. Good foul, right? Yeah. He's going to need some help. He got it, I think. Yeah. At least the one cover. He's got a, what looks like a two rail kick. Thought he may kick two rails to the side rail. Yeah, I guess he tries to bring the one to the six and the white to use the tempo as a stopper. Yeah, and, he, and if he doesn't baby it, he can actually make the cue ball just kind of stick there uh, on the slick belt like that. Yeah. Pretty creative there and a good call. Dan. Good, good job. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, yeah, I guess so. And Dwight goes over to the eight between yeah. the two. Yeah. Maybe dangerous. Nah. Scratch. Maybe. Yeah. Well, he's going to hit it pretty full. Yeah, that's right. It's not. So it should somewhat draw a little bit. Yeah, I guess, no, if he hits it full enough, it's good. Yeah. He's, I don't think he's, a, I mean, of course, but I think he can make this two out of ten, 20 percent. Right in the face. Not what he wanted. Yeah, he might have been. Worried about the scratch, yeah, I'm not huh? worried about getting too much over near the eight ball. Yeah. Well, after a one nothing deficit without any balls being pocketed, now Omar now should the driver seat to take the lead. Yeah, and it's a window break, so once you get two games for yourself, you know you just gotta break break once or twice. Well, you know, and you can get there. Yeah, and at this stage of the tournament, and of course, these players, and obviously with Omar at the table, he's not a guy that's affected by who he's playing. He's played all these guys in very big tournaments, the world titles, uh, all over the world, all kinds of different games as well. So it's all about him getting comfortable with himself more than getting comfortable with his opponent. Yeah, absolutely right. I understand he wants to draw into a full position on the seven so he can easily get down table on the eight. He doesn't want to have to fool with going around the nine ten with the cue ball. Yeah, and on this, you know, fast table, you if you have too much angle, it's tough to hold it sometimes. All right. Yeah, because the seven didn't pass the nine. So this is nice here. It'd be nice and heavy on the seven just to draw the cue ball back. Wants to bounce off the rail a little bit. You always want that cue ball off the rail. Oh, I thought he had to come to the rail. That was a little easier than I thought. Looking good, yeah. Perfect on the nine. I know Shane did not suffer a loss. I don't think Omar did either. I recall. I remember talking to him after his third win. Yeah, I think he went on the winner's side.
This is the Q Sports International Expo. All kinds of championships going on in the room. We're in the final four. The first semifinal of the final four here in the U.S. Pro Player Series, Pro Bigger Series, excuse me. Omar Al Shaheen to break two to one. I'm Jeremy Jones with Daniel Snyder, special guest. Yeah, Daniel, you grinded your way through this tournament. And it's got to be exciting uh, and you know, makes you look forward to possibly the next time you get to play in an event like this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, you know. US I, Open, I'm assuming. Yes, US Open. I mean, I've been in, in, in the US since like now one and a half years and uh, then Corona hit the world and uh, then everything was kind of put on hold and just some smaller tournaments here and there. Yeah. But yeah, now I'm, we're traveling for, for three, four weeks, yeah. Yeah, it's great, and I think you're gonna uh, we're gonna see some special things by some special players these next few weeks, including here tonight to get it started. But it's funny you bring that up. It, we were right here in Vegas when the, the world kind of changed that week for the pandemic. It was the day after this tournament had completed, on our day off, where it looked like we were a go, and then all of a sudden the tournament and pretty much every event in the world got canceled or postponed. That's true, yeah. Yeah, and we're still here today feeling the complications of that, you know, playing with the mask, but the guys have been great. I haven't heard any complaints. Um, and it really hasn't affected their games either, right? Yeah, no, I mean, I think people get, players get adjusted. I mean, it is definitely is a difference to play with the mask or without. I can feel that, but uh, yeah, they're doing great. And that's where Shane is really good. I mean, the cue ball, excellent, but always has a, a unique way of putting the object ball in those funny shots in just a horrible position for his opponent. You know, yeah. like, what do you call here? What do you... <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he hides both balls and, and sticks it to a ball if possible. So, like, the hit is really tough. It yeah. seems like he sees it, right? Yeah, and he can play but a little still. one one pocket shot here, trying to kill the cue ball. I'm surprised he didn't call that right there, though. That's what I was looking at after he called the side. I mean, he's oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. knocking the one down there, right? He called the side pocket for the one where I thought you might as well call the ten. I mean, you he, might. I mean, he I called thought, the side pocket by the five ball. Yeah, for the one, he thought he was going to cut oh. it more, and he thought the right okay. English might throw the bank a little more. So. All right. Yeah. Well, not wasting much time shooting here. He's going to use the three to hold the cue ball, right? Like that, trying to just separate the one and the and the. That was not full enough, right? That was. Yeah. You know, soft safety, right? Yeah, I mean, but but Shane is either going to come with the bank here, probably not. Maybe or with a good safety, bring the cue ball between four and ten. Yeah. Now, he can't really shave the one. That's more of a dangerous yeah. safety. He'll want to move the one, I think. But goes bottom right English. and Yeah, he might come two rails on the 410. That's the shot I Ex saw like yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. He just didn't quite dig the draw on the cue ball enough. Still, again, we talked about the object ball, right? Yeah, I think he was afraid of too much speed on the one ball. Right. He's got to swerve this, wow. Yeah. Oh, I can't ask for more much than that, much more than that. Even after, yeah, crazy. Man, this is a Full di on. difficult safety in my opinion. He, he may do the same thing he did a moment ago, trying to come down here by the eight with the cue ball. You know, kind of a little deja vu here from earlier, trying to put the one in a real funny spot. You called it. Yeah. It's yeah. going to come out for a jump or a masse, maybe. Is I don't think he has the shot straight in. I think he maybe sees that. Really? And if he should see, no, I yeah. don't think he. I don't think he's got an Not easy enough. make, right? He's got to kind of twist it a little bit with right English. Cue ball may go. Oh, he could make it. Wow. And now has an open pocket in the corner or in the side off the six. Yes. Looks to me like 
think corner, you need, maybe? Yeah, I think so, because it's too straight in the side. Yeah, yeah, once he gets on the three, really, the out is pretty easy. Nice execution there. Oh, he's really a, a fun player to watch. I mean, yeah, all, and all kinds of ways too. I mean. Even with difficult shots or or deciding shots, he doesn't waste much time. He just, you know, he looks at the shot, goes down, and just executes it. Doesn't matter whether it's difficult or or not difficult, or in a deciding situation or not. Yeah, and the one thing about Omar, we spent a little time together. Um, and a half, right before pandemic, I guess it was. And one thing about him is he knows that sometimes he may not be making the right decision. You know, he's still learning like a lot of these players, right? But he commits to whatever he does decide, which is a great way way to play the game. Yes, that's number one rule, I guess. If you are down on a shot and you're not sure about it, 80% it's not turning out well. Right. And just, you know, great execution will overcome a little bit of a bad decision here and there, usually, anyways. Yes. So it seems like Omar being down 1 0, he just made three or will be making three racks in a row. Three points. Yeah, I think that scratch on the break, which was totally on Shane in the first game, I think that really let Omar easily shake off that one game loss. And Shane really wasn't at the table. I mean, he was at the table with some safety shots, right? With, but no open balls since that cue ball on the break. Right. And he has one game on the on the scoreboard, but that he didn't really get to shoot that one. No, he got a few extra practice racks because of Omar's uh, being late to the match a little bit, which is very surprising. But it happens to all of us at some time or another. Danny Olson, another guy from South Dakota, great player also. It's nice to see so many, so many great players from all over the world came here to compete. Uh, especially, also big shout out, shout out to all the players that invested so much time in Europe to go to countries in order to enter the U.S. Right. With all the current restrictions. Yeah. Everyone had a unique way <laughs> of getting here. They had to sacrifice a lot in order to get here. Yeah. Right. But it's sure worth it. both of oh he got the nine down though and he's gonna get a shot on the one so pretty much in Omar's hands here to win set number one right a little bit of a Just tight one ball tight is it tight yeah it's definitely tight and Ooh, you need to probably go. check up there he's got to shoot the combo he's got to wow. kind of smooth the combo in that's okay though yeah depending on how thin and thick he hits the two is where the one goes okay you hit it sweet yeah. He's pretty comfortable, Daniel. Oh. That's just... That's almost, you know, exactly what you were talking about earlier. Made his decision and got on with it, with the combination. Yeah. A lot of guys would have looked that over, taken my extension. It does look like the shot of the rack, though. Yes. No worries here. If he makes the four, the three can't really go anywhere but in a good place, it looks like, as long as he doesn't hit it too hard. Yeah, and now he gets on the rail on the five, and then... Uh, end up short for no reason. Okay, he's all right. I've done that so many times, made a bunch of good shots, and then the easiest shot in the rack, I just lose focus for a moment and make it tougher. Take it too lightly for a second, and yeah. Mm. Okay, he's elected to move the cue ball two rails with the 10 hanging. All he needs is nice and straight on the eight. He's playing good. 
feeling it. And that's going to end set number one, this 10 ball. We'll take a short break and we'll have a couple more in the booth. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe Omar Al Shaheen will be breaking the balls as uh, Shane won the opening or got the opening break. Uh, this is George Teja in the booth along with Marco Tucher from Holland, now in New Zealand. Yeah, that's correct. Hi guys. Uh, Mark Omar won the first set, four to one. Shane had only one up at the table for the most part. And here in the second set. Marco, how do you like his break? Um, yeah, the first set he break pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, got a bit unfortunate with the first scratch from uh, Shane. Um, but now he's been breaking pretty good. He has been. He's been breaking very well and running balls very well. He looks real smooth out there, doesn't he? Yeah, right. Do you play him much uh, in, in, in Europe? Do you come across him very often? Uh, well, you're being in New Zealand. I guess you don't. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah. Not anymore. Nah. I think I never played him before. Okay. Yeah. Did you get a chance to play him in this tournament? Uh, no, no, I didn't okay. play him. No. Well, he's he's he seems like he's very comfortable at the table, and he's got an opening here with some work to do on the seven. Yeah, he played a good shot there. Now, would you open up this seven ball right here and make sure you get on the? How do you get on the uh, from the four? Mm. I mean, from the five. I'm not sure if you can hold. This four ball four to five. Would you consider going three rails forward? Yeah, I think that's probably the better shot. Oh, he's gonna go two yeah. back and forth. I like going around it. Yeah, I think that's probably the better shot. I reckon. Mm. How would you shoot this? As you look at this, you're gonna have some time because he. I would. You know, I would play it three rails. Three rails forward. Yeah. 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 He might be getting a good angle on the five to open the seven to end up right where the cue ball is now. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, he's going into it. Yeah. yeah. How did he come out? Oh, on the wrong side, so I guess we're going to have a... Is he, oh, yeah. he could play this off both yeah. balls. Yeah, that's a pretty good show, actually, if he opened a seven ball here as well. Mm -hmm. And just follow straight up for the six. Oh, oh, but I was afraid that might happen if he hit it real, uh, a little harder. Uh, and he caught too much of the second ball. You get away with that one. Does it, if the ball fits between the rail and the seven, I think he can make it. 
Oh. I think Shane is trying to stop the white ball here. Oh, he's, he's trying to draw off of it, looks like. Yeah. Oh, I see he was trying to kick and yeah. stick it there, yeah. okay. See, Marco recognizes that. Marco is a great player from Holland. Uh, now living in New Zealand, I, uh, I watched him uh, win the US Open 10 ball championships at Chris Billiards. Uh, I was extremely impressed with his play. Heck, the other night he was practicing, and he, I think he did a four or a five pack, just practicing, just like, huh. <laughs> and then put on an exhibition of, of uh, jump shots. Yeah, nah, that was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a good chance here for Amar. Yeah, take the first game of the second set. Shane's been relatively quiet in his chair. Yeah, that's a great shot. You know, when Omar's playing nowadays, uh, you seem to, we seem to be saying that quite a bit. He's playing very, very well. I watched him when he first came across, when he first came to the States uh, at a tournament was the first time I saw him was at a tournament at Freezer's Bar and Grill uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. It's now called the Modern Mill Social. And anyway, uh, he played he played very well, but from what I'm seeing here, he's playing 15 to 20 percent better. Yeah, now he's hit the ball really good, and he looked real comfortable on the table as well. Nice thing there. Keep going. I thought we were, that's the first game of the set for Omar, and he'll break again. John Lehman will be racking the balls with the Predator Triangle Rack. I'm not sure how much sponsor information uh, we got in the first first set of this uh, match. But we are playing on diamond tables with Predator Cloth, with Predator Arena Lights and Predator Balls, and the new Triangle Rack. What equipment do you have in New Zealand to play with? Um, we mainly uh, use Predator. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you're you, you are sponsored by Predator. Yeah, I'm sponsored yeah. by Predator. Um, I would say majority of the pool players they use Predator cues. Mm -hmm. um, well, they're making such great equipment, and they're so good with their new innovation. Yeah, the quality uh, is top. The I quality mean. is top notch. Yeah. Um, yeah, we do get the Predator tables. Mm -hmm. as well coming in are oh, you got them they're already coming yeah wow. yeah I, I i experienced them i experienced the prototypes in tucson arizona at the arizona open uh and uh you know they, they show a lot of promise and they're nice nice equipment to play on yeah yeah they're beautiful i and think on top of that they're, they're they're very good looking yeah yeah, yeah they're functional and made out of steel yeah yeah i've seen it yeah and what's nice is they can they, they can be moved easier because they're three-piece slates yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a bit easier than the than the one piece. Well, you don't need a special uh, dolly for it, mm. and, and you don't need somebody that can handle the 1,500 pounds. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I stopped working out, so I can't pick those up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a good chance for uh, Shane at the table. Shane, yeah. Well, walk us through his uh, walk us through his run out here. Um. It looks like he's going uh, around the five, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Going around. Have you yeah. done commentary before? I uh, did some commentating in New Zealand okay. a couple of times. Yeah, I was going to say, just pretend you're playing. Tell right. us how you would play it. Um, yeah, this is an interesting. I'm not sure if he has a shot here. I'm pretty sure he will be playing safe here. I think he's going to get the white ball behind the four. Mm, I was going to say he just banked the, the four ball into the uh, nine seven, but the, the nine, uh, cue ball behind the four. Yeah, looks good. Oh, he's, he's not doing He's cutting it in the side. Oh, he can't. The nine, eight ball's in the way, isn't it? Yeah, I think he's maybe playing the, the two to the four and then get the white ball up table. Got you. He's going be, I think he's going behind the five ten. Yeah, no. Nah. I think this is a bit easier because he didn't he didn't have the right angle to get behind the four ball. At least, yeah. But what's Omar gonna shoot? Well, actually, I like stunning this ball right behind the four and three railing the two out yeah, of there. That's the shot, I reckon. Yeah. Yes, and he's called it three rails. Yeah. Oh, he, he would have liked to stop there, right there on the four. He just got away from him a little bit, yeah. and he's left Shane an opening. He left Shane an opening. Um, 
but still a lot of problems on the table. Sure. The tree has no, not really a pocket. You can play the combination there. Um, Would you risk making this ball yeah. and uh, hitting the five and get a bank on the three? Yeah, I think you have to go for it. Oh, no, he's playing, he's playing safe, safe yeah. all the way with the cue ball behind the 10. Yeah. He's given a bank, but still, what do you do with the three? Bank the three to the same pocket? I don't think he will go for the bank. Okay. Because if he makes the bank, I don't think he get a shot after mm -hmm. that. So I see him banking it and stop the white ball there. And maybe get the two ball close to the six. Two rails. Use a three for cover. Good option. Try to come behind the nine, it looks like, or, or actually get the two to the top rail in the middle. But see, with the two in the top, top rail, if he would have got it there, mm. it affords Shane a nice two railer with a cue ball behind the yeah, six. That's correct, yeah. yeah. It'll be interesting to see what he's playing here. He has a chance to make this one get, get to the three ball, pump the three ball. Well, yeah, you go for it. Yeah. And then come into the what a nice shot. Yeah. Oh, he, he deserves yeah. better. Yeah. No, he deserves I think, better. I think I think this is a this is a right combo. Nice combo. It, yeah. Yeah, because the f the seven ball is frozen, so that makes the combo a bit nicer. Okay. See, I always thought that when the ball was not frozen, it made it a little nicer. Yeah, if they're close together. Then close together. Yeah. Yes. Then it's, uh, then it's all right. Good call. Now, yeah. what do you do with this four, or do you look for another safety? Not too sure right now. So far, I'm impressed with the way. Well, of course, I'm always impressed, impressed watching Shane shoot. I'm impressed with the way he's handling the rack step by step. Yeah, I think that's that's the main thing when you get situations like this because it's hard to really like see what's happening. Mm -hmm. well, he's going to come to there. I like his four rail safety with his four ball. Yeah. And then and take the cue ball to the top, kind of like uh, stun follow, yeah. and get to the top rail. Yeah, that's probably the shot. I don't think he has much more than that. Oh, wow. No, he hit it soft and bring the cue ball down behind the tent. He hit that really nice, to be honest. Yeah. Well, he saw that really nice, too, because, yeah. uh, uh, you know, we were looking at something different. Yeah. And that gives you a good idea of the creativity of some of these players. Especially one of the best players in the world. Yeah, I don't know so Shane much. Van Boney. Well, he's been faced with that situation over time and probably seen it many times and shot it many times and preferred that to the other. Yeah, yeah. But he's um, got a shot here. I think he can see it. Yeah, he might, he might be able to get the white. Oh, he's going to play it. He's going to stick, kick and stick. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Wow. That's a great shot. Now, that gives you an idea, folks, these people here in Vegas. Well, they appreciate good shooting, and that was a good shot. Yeah, that was a great shot. There's a lot of pressure on shots like that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, you know, actually, I think there's less pressure on shots like that than the straight-in ones. Yeah, true, <laughs> yeah. Because you don't want to look like an idiot missing the straight inch. Nice hit by Omar. Oh, wow. Nice hit by Omar. It doesn't give much away. Oh, yeah, it gives him a tough shot. It gives him an opening, but uh, you've got to perform. But Shane, with his stroke, I mean, he's so, yeah, he's so level. Just watch how pure this is. a good angle of the uh, of the cue. Just watch how straight he'll come through. He might bump to 10. Oh, wow. Yes, is what I'm saying. He's yeah. just... Uh, comes through so nice. It's a good way of playing it, to be honest. You just focus on the pot, just roll the white ball, and then probably he's going to bank this one. Come up for the six? Yeah. Because this is like, you know, you're playing one pocket, this is almost a dead scratch. Yeah. So he's going to end up about six if he banks it with just high English. Oh. He missed the ball, but look at his position. That was a free, in other yeah. words, that was kind of like a free shot. Yeah. He knows where he's going with the cue ball. It was off far enough the rail that he's known he's going to go long. Yeah. And you wouldn't expect him to miss a bank like that. No. Or miss position on. He didn't miss position. Yeah. Uh, they are on a 30 second shot clock with a 20 second extension. I'm sure you uh, saw 
some of that in the first mm -hmm. set. Yeah. It's still there in the second set. Uh, can I kick this nine ball in? Where will the five ball go where I kick it, is what he's thinking. I like hitting a little bit of the left side of it and, and kind of having the cue ball go over by the 10. You might, you might get some, uh, you might get him behind if you don't hit it too hard. Yeah, well, but you got to get a rail. Might be behind the 10 ball. Looks like he's trying to make the nine, though. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't think he's coming back to the table unless this blocks the five and isn't available for a combo. It's available for a combo. This is a tough shot. Do you just kind of like follow it or hold the cue ball yeah, there? Kinda, uh, kinda just, yeah, just roll yeah, it in. Just roll it in because he's got a little bit of angle so he doesn't have to worry about going into it. Oh, wow. Yeah, just, just play that one great. Mm -hmm. Is a good chance to uh, to get back into the match. Well, you know the one thing about this 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 match, with the two short races, you're never too far away. You can lose the first set like he did four to one, and come back, and now it's tied. Yeah. And he's got every chance yeah. to go to a spot shot, shootout, and win the match. Yeah, I totally agree. I do I do like the format or like a short mm -hmm. races. I just. Uh, creates a lot of chances for both players mm -hmm. to get back into the match. Van Boney to break the second set. Fourth game leads two to one. Marco Tucher in the booth with me. This is George Teja bringing you the live action from the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino at the Q Sports International Expo. Wow, what an amazing break. A shame. He had that one really sweet. You think he'll take on this bank or just play safe? Um, I see him taking on this bank. I mean, he's a, he's a he's a great bankroll player. Yeah, he's called it. The only concern is like holding the white ball. He, Does, no. He's gonna draw. He's gonna draw between the rail and the four. It looks like. Yeah. Go around maybe. Yeah, go around to get down for the because he's got to get around the ten and the five for the deuce. Yeah. He just changed his mind. They have sixty seconds after the break. It just makes the bank like much tougher. Mm -hmm. um, if you play it like jacked up like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, he was playing. Whoa. Yeah, that's that's the problem. When you play it from the rail, it's like hard to control the speed. To control the speed, yeah. Uh, elevation. How much do you think elevation changes your shot? 
Um, quite a lot because it makes the shot harder. Definitely, he, if you play it with outside with a little bit spin, um, yeah, it makes it definitely a bit tougher. This is a good chance for Omar. Too bad you can't play two way shots. You can play the deuce and the ten on the same shot, huh? Yeah. Which yeah. you call one. Yeah. Is that going to go too far? Yeah. Well, it looks okay. I think he gets the nine ball here. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he hit that, he he just the, right full. Yeah, he hit that beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's probably screwing this one back to the short rail and then a long rail. Play the five in the left corner pocket. It'll be interesting to see if he's going to play the seven in the corner or if he might bank it. In the upper corner. Yeah, that bank that bank shot's very available in the side pocket. Anytime you're around that first diamond. Mm. Yeah. Makes it a nice shot. And it's just a ball from the reel as well, so. I think it all depends on the angle that you get on the five ball. Good point. Whether it's a stop angle or a, or yeah. he can run over, he's going to be able to run yeah. right over and move it if he wants. I, I think he's like too close to the reel to uh, play position for the bank shot, so. Overcut that. Wow. Oh, oh, he hooked himself on the seven. That's an interesting. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. He'll probably call this seven ball. Cross, yeah. cross side. One nice good. try. Yeah. It was pretty close. It wasn't far from making it. Oh, that's a great shot. He'll catch it. Shane about to put this game away. Yeah, I have the feeling we get into a spot shot in this match. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I believe we're at three to one. I know the score shows one, one, one. Yeah, at the same time. Well, it looks like it's two to one. Oh, I guess maybe I made a mistake on my scorekeeping. Well, yeah, it's with John one. racking the balls, yeah, uh, I guess I'll change the position to go ahead and take control of this match. He uh, gave Omar uh, an opening, and Omar turned it back with getting hooked behind the eight ball for that seven ball kick. Yeah, that was a that was a that, good, was, that was a good opportunity for Omar. Yeah, that one that he needed to, to really be able to close Shane out yeah. because. You know, uh, momentum would go further in his in his favor. Yeah, I totally agree with that. He's been playing great and he's been very good. So uh, uh, we we expect Shane to play great and great good. Well, yeah. great great. He's got one of the best breaks in ten ball. Yeah. But that break before this one was like great. So. Got a fr friendly kiss there. Those kisses make a big difference. Uh, yeah. You mentioned earlier on one of our breaks, you felt that Omar's been getting more favorable roles. Yeah. Than Shane has. Yeah, I felt like, uh, yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. I mean, sometimes you need the roles to get back into the match, definitely with the short formats. Well, yeah, you don't have time to recover from a bad run no, sometimes. No, it's just real short and fast. He's coming around this five ball for this two. Doesn't want to hit. Well, it doesn't really matter. He's got plenty of ball to cut. He would have liked to have gone by that and come down for the two to get a better. I don't think he's well, been able to cut this one. I, I think, think he's going to cut it with inside English and go up for. Oh, he's playing safe. Yeah, he's playing safe here. Yeah. 
Oh, I see now from this angle, it looks like it's uncuttable. Yeah. From the overview, it looked like it was cuttable. Is it going to leak? Nope. No, yeah. I, think, I think that's good enough. <laughs> He's got a good. You do bend this or you two rail kick it? Yeah, I think I don't. I think the Messi shot is a, it's a probably a better shot because you're banking the two ball up table. Wow. And, th and this is this is what I mean with the friendly kisses. You know, he's not giving anything like pre you know nothing easy. Right, right. Probably gonna play safe, but even the safety shot is not easy. Cause no, because he has to hit it with some speed. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and just to hold the wipe up there, it's like, it's a pretty, uh, pretty tough shot. Now, the closer you can get to the 10 ball, the better it is for the safety. Because more than likely, the two hits, the four or the nine. Is he playing the combination? On the he seven? might be playing it straight in. Oh, yeah. Wow. I didn't saw it. But, uh, it was hard to see, but yeah. we're, we're, we're looking at the monitor, and it looked like it was blocked by the seven. Yeah. Great opportunity for Shane right now. Playing the five and the seven and the, the six in the left uh, bottom corner pocket. Going corner to corner with the object balls. Come down a little bit for the seven on the side. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. He did that last match. I think he got a friendly roll <laughs> here. This is a real... Uh, he's going to jump this. Huh? I'm not sure if he'd be able to jump this. From the distance? Well, the problem with jumping this is that the cue ball is going to track right for the other corner pocket. Yeah. Or, or to keep the white ball on the table. Oh, that, that too. Definitely if the, if the six ball is that close to the reel. Well, I watched you make some amazing jump shots the other day, and uh, you were controlling this ball very well. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't make that one. Yeah. He hit it perfect. That's one of the things that, that, that uh, you know, just because it's a jump shot doesn't mean it's going to be made. Not true. All the equipment and all the king's men, you know, <laughs> sometimes uh, umpty breaks no matter what. <laughs> yeah, true. It's an interesting match so far. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of, like... A lot, a lot of exchanges. Yeah. A lot of innings. Not a lot of innings, but, yeah, they're, they're not... In the first, the first uh, set, Omar just ran through the table. This one's yeah. going back and forth. This is going back and forth. Here's, here and there are some mistakes. Well, a missed six ball that we rarely see from Shane. Yeah. Yeah, and Armar got a few good chances here as well mm -hmm. in, this, uh, in this set. Now, this is interesting. I like playing this ball with a little bit of uh, center left English and going three rails to play the 10 ball in the lower right-hand corner. How would you play this? Yeah, I think that's probably the shot. Yeah. He's going to come all the way around for the side. Looks a bit he too didn't short, but he, didn't right. well, but he got perfect for the corner. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's probably the reason why you have to play it like that. Mm -hmm. Because even if you play it too short, you'll be able to play it in the right corner pocket. If you play it too long, you play it in the side. Yeah, perfect.
are back with Shane Van Boning leading three to one in the second set. Here he is to break for the set. Marco Tucher and George Deche in the booth. Marco, analyze his break. Now he's been breaking really good the last set. Um, yeah, here you go. Like that center, make the three rolls in the corner. And it looks like he got a shot. I'm pretty sure you'll playing the one four combination and roll the white ball on the, on the tree to stop the white ball. No, well, you got to come down for the two. Yeah, I think if he keeps the white ball there, I think he'd be able to uh, hold it from there. Yeah. Now that's why he was stopping the one, the, the, the white ball for yeah. the one, mm -hmm. not for the two. I'm not too sure he is, if he can cut this one in and just hold the white ball to the other side. I think if the two ball goes by the eight, he'll bank the one and come down for the two. Or actually, he can cut it and go yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Excuse me. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, the I five ball's big. Attention, please. All he has to do is come to the side pocket. Uh, it looks like he's going to bank it. No, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's banking yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, he banked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your call. Yeah, I wasn't sure if It's he his shot. They, they see him a lot better down there than we see him up here. We can call him. They can shoot him. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he, uh, the two ball was uh, going in that pocket. Pretty good from here. Get the white ball back to the center of the table. Yeah, well, normally from here, Shane is uh, odds on favorite to get out. So if we go to a shootout, it'll be interesting, and I think it'll be a very good shootout with some high numbers. Yeah, yeah. We saw a shootout earlier between uh, Dennis Grab and Jun Lung Chang, and uh, it went 16 to 15, which means. 14 shots were made behind the first diamond from the head rail. Wow. That happened today? Today. Wow. Yeah. They both made the opening uh, shootout, went to sudden death, and uh, uh, Jun Ling Chang missed his, uh, his uh, number 15. Wow. Uh, Dennis made his, and Jun Ling Chang missed his uh, miss number 15 to lose the match. That's unbelievable. And keep in mind, folks, that this is now single elimination. So we had 32 players that started this morning, and now there's only uh, four left. Marco, your tournament, you had a good tournament. Uh, you were in the, you would have made your next match would have been the semifinals. Right? Uh, the no, one short. no, the last, I lost in the last 32.
we are down to a shootout. It's four innings. They'll alternate sides. The highest score wins. You can see by the check mark, that's where the cue ball ha can be placed. And he'll shoot the spot shot into the corner pocket, opposite corner pocket. Shane Van Bunning uh, won the lag, so uh, he'll uh, shoot first. Marco, did you have any shootouts? Yeah, I played my last 32 match uh, with a shootout. Oh, that's a, that's, so that's how you lost uh, this yeah. morning, right? Yeah. With well, a shootout. I lost three two in the shootout. How important is it to practice for these guys? You're oh, Shane shooting it. Yeah, wow. it's like, it's a big difference with playing it in the practice or... Uh, <laughs> Under pressure? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, I think that's why Shane is, uh, is like favorite when it comes to the spot shots. He, he practices everything. Yeah, and I feel like he, he, he handles the pressure better. He thrives in pressure. Yeah. Yeah. He thrives in pressure. Yeah, he loves it. But Omar has, not, uh, of late, has shown us he handles it very well, too. And you saw how comfortable he was at the table with all the other shots. Yeah, and I think I think right now for Omar, Omar's, like, playing with a lot of confidence as well. Mm -hmm. He just, like, he's been playing really great and hitting the ball good. And um, he had some good results. So, you know, I think, um, I think this could be, like, a long uh, shootout. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if it goes longer than one we had earlier today. Wow. Between Dennis Scrab and Jun uh, Chang. Dennis won it on number 16. Jun Ling Chang missed number 16. That's so 16 15. And keep in mind, folks, that where the 10 ball is will remain. What's going to happen is at the end of four innings, if they're tied, the cue ball gets moved back one diamond. So you see it down the second diamond from the head rail. It'll go back behind the first diamond from the head rail. That's not an easy shot. No, especially when you're alternating sides. Wow. He had a clean. He's hit them both dead yeah. center. Yeah. And he's bringing the cue ball around exactly the same place every time. It's, it's coming out of the corner pocket, both rails, and coming just about a diamond short of the of the corner pocket at the top of the table. So this is your first your first tournament uh, in the pro series in the pro bidders. Yeah, this is the first time. Yeah. Do you intend to uh, make uh, Michigan, Ohio and Puerto Rico? Uh, and nah. the problem no? is for uh, for New Zealand travelers we have to quarantine, right? So it's hard to get back to the country. Oh, so I thought you had quarantined before you came here, but then you have to quarantine to go back. You have to quarantine when you get back, yeah. Tied at two. You can see the score, folks, uh, on your uh, lower left-hand corner of your screen. It's 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. They exchange sets, and then 2-2 two, two on the shootout. <clears throat> Shane composing himself there. Takes a little breath. A uh, little breath. A little hard to do with that mask, but we're all taking him, I guess. Yeah. I cheat. <laughs> it's interesting that uh, Shane, is, Shane is playing it from the from the table as well, instead of playing it from I, the room. I actually like I like playing it from the table myself too. I, I like my hand on the table, not on the rail. It changes it changes the position of the cue ball striking the cue stick striking the cue ball. Yeah, I agree. I've been practicing it from the rail. Uh huh. Um, Jer Jeremy and I talked. Of, we've talked about it at length as to how to play it the best, and we believe. We both believe the same thing, that if you play with just a hair right around center English, just a little bit, maybe a little bit of a hint of outside English, yeah. and it catch the cute, catch the rail when you come off off the shot, catch the rail just before the side pocket uh, is the best way to play it. Yeah. But we've seen several players uh, take it three rails uh, underneath the right hand corner pocket, for instance, which I think is what Omar's doing. I feel like so nice and tight. I feel like the way how Shane is playing it looks easier mm -hmm. because he put his hand on the table and it looks like a normal shot. Yes, yes. Um, like when you're playing it from the rail, it's, it's, it's not the same. And, and to tell you the truth, we were both wondering how Jun Ling Chang would shoot it because he's such a such a knowledge of information yeah, yeah. in pool. Yeah. And he shot it uh, the way Shane is shooting it. Yeah, I'm not surprised about it. Actually, you, wouldn't, you didn't shoot it off the rail, though. I don't remember how he shot this side. I know he played the other side off the table. Yeah, I think this is the the right side, so it's probably a bit nicer to play mm -hmm. it from this. Wow. It's a lot of pressure on this shot for uh, Omar. This is, well, this is sudden death for Omar. 
see shades. That's why it's uh, we think it's nicer to go first. Uh, it's in it's in the player's best interest to go first because it puts him in the situation. He is now at sudden death. If you miss your shot, if you're Shane, for instance, and miss your shot, there's still a small chance your opponent may miss his, yeah. and you go on. Yeah, I totally agree. But when you make all four, uh, is that, all the pressure's on him. Is it because uh, Shane won the leg? Yes. Yeah. Whoever wins the leg will shoot first in the shootout. He has the choice. He has the he choice, has the choice yeah. to, to shoot first. Yeah, I agree to start the, the shootout. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen anyone turn it down yet. Oh, wow. Well, we're tied at four. Watch with the... Watch the graphics here, folks. You can see where they're allowed to put the cue ball in the green area in the upper part of your table where the check mark is, and they'll shoot to the opposite corner, and they'll alternate sides. We had one go to 16. All right, here we get to see it. And I know the graphic says highest score wins, but it's sudden death. Yeah, this is this is not an easy shot. No, it's not. No, not. This is so, just and, and keep in mind, Dennis Grab made 14 of these in a row. Looks like he's aiming it real low. He's changed the way he shoots it, doesn't it? Doesn't he? Yeah. He's shoot, and he's shooting off the rail. Oh. It's a stronger cut shot. Yeah. And there you go. So this and is now, see. This is for the win for Omar. This is for Omar. If Omar, if Omar makes this, he wins. Otherwise, it continues. Yeah, that's not an easy shot. No. That's definitely no, no. a missable shot. I mean. and, and like I just said, we had one player today, just a, a match before this one, uh, that it was a noon match that went on for quite a while since they went through 16 of these shots. This is interesting. Uh, Mark put it more to the left side. Mm -hmm. so then, he, then Shane, yeah, Shane yeah, shot off the back yeah, rail, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, and he's, uh, Omar is going to play it from the pocket. And that's actually in... Uh, that's what you would do if you're next to a side pocket. I'm saying uh, Omar's going to make this one. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Five out of five. And Shaheen is out. That's a great... Uh, Omar Al Shaheen takes the win. Yeah, nice, nice finish from Omar. Five out of five. Awesome.